Hi, my name is Siti and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. Now, we all love Chromebooks and we work with Chromebooks every single day. And as you can see here, I've got a Chromebook Tab 10 and there's another Chromebook right there charging. Now, sometimes we go to conferences or Apps Event Summits and we do lend these Chromebooks to another person. This might be because of running out of a battery or because they have not brought their own devices. Now it's always good when you end up with loads of users on your login page to do a power wash. And that's what we're going to look at today. How we can reset and power wash our Chrome devices to be clean, out of the box fresh. Let's dive into it. Now here's my Chromebook R13. Now let's say that I would like to do a power wash. Well, where I will go is down below, and this works the same on any Chrome device. You're going to go to the settings window. So we're going to open this up and then click on this little cog wheel. Now the cog wheel is going to open up our settings. Now once you're in your settings, what you want to do is you want to scroll all the way down until you see that advanced button. Now the advanced button, when you press that, gives you access to even more options. And we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom of the advanced and the final option you will see there is power wash. Now the power wash will not only remove all the user accounts, it also resets your Chrome device to be just like new. So once you click on that button, it's going to ask you, are you sure that you want to reset this? Now your device will restart as you're doing this. So you click on restart and then you will go through an entire power wash. Now this works exactly the same on other Chrome devices. So let's have a look at the Chrome Tab 10. Now here I've got my Chrome Tab 10 and as you can see, it's an amazing device, but it already has a number of users on it. Now I'd like to clear this and make it fresh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap down below as before and I'm going to find the cog wheel. So let's go ahead and tap that cog wheel. Now using the stylus this time, I'm going to scroll all the way down and again, find the advanced functionality, scroll down again, and here it says power wash. So where it says power wash, we're going to simply tap that. And then we are going to confirm that we want to power wash. So let's go ahead and click on restart. And there we go. As the device restarts, you will see that the power wash is taking place. And it is asking me, do you want to reset this Chrome device? Now I'm going to confirm this. So I'm going to go ahead and click on power wash and it says everything will be reset. All user accounts and local data will be removed. Are you sure that you want to continue as this cannot be undone? I'm going to tap continue. And now my device is being power washed. There we go. It is in progress. Don't worry about the cutoff text that will fix itself in a minute. And there we go, we see our Chrome welcome screen yet once more. And we can now sign up with a brand new account. So you can see this is just like a brand new Chrome tab. We can go to the next step. We're going to connect to a Wi-Fi network and then we can log into our accounts as we did before. So a very useful functionality for Chrome users that do tend to share their devices from time to time. And there we have it. I hope you found this tips and tricks with Apps Events and Acer useful. And if you are someone like me who tends to use a lot of different Chrome devices or have a lot of different users on the Chrome devices, then doing a power wash can save you and help you a lot. Do let me know in the comment section below if you've ever used a power wash before and why did you have to use it? I hope you found this helpful and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. This was another tips and tricks with Apps Events and Acer.